Hey friends, it's Holly. Welcome back to Living It Country. Today we have another fall farmhouse home tour to share today. I am so thrilled to have Brittany here from the Tennessee home on Instagram. She will be sharing her gorgeous home for the fall season. You guys are gonna get so many decorating ideas on a budget, traditional decorating ideas, and even that boho farmhouse look which I absolutely adore in her home. So without further ado, make sure you guys follow Brittany in the description box down below and let's start today's home tour. Welcome to our home. We live in a small town about 30 minutes north of Nashville, Tennessee. Our home was built in 2018 and we purchased it during the construction phase. So some of the elements of our home were customized to our tastes and others were already chosen for us, such as the exterior. I do love our brick color and our trim colors. Our brick is a light um, lime wash to vintage style brick with chippy accents so you can see the red popping through in some areas. It's got a lot of great color variation and depth to it. And on our front porch you can see we have a standard front door with surrounding side lights. My front door is painted Sherwin-Williams peppercorn gray. I feel like it complements the warmth of the trim and the brick uh, really nicely. I just have a few fall pieces on my front porch for now because here in Tennessee it is still very hot and humid most days and pumpkins don't tend to last very long in, that, um, in those weather conditions. So I keep it pretty clean and simple. Normally I have really large ferns here but I've moved them in front of my garage for my fall decor. So let's go inside. Here's the main living areas of my home. We have a semi-open floor plan. So our dining room, living room, and entryway are all open. And our kitchen and breakfast nook are Right behind it, separated by a partial wall. My entryway has a table that my husband built for me following a plan we found online. It's a great place for you to leave your keys, sunglasses, phone, things like that when you come inside. Back off at the entryway is our living room. Our living room is probably my favorite room in the house. Notice we don't have a TV down here. We do have a small bonus room upstairs where our TV and a reclining couch is. It's more of the area where the kids um, like to hang out or if we're gonna watch a movie together as a family. It's really nice and cozy. I have a white slip covered couch from rooms ago that I purchased many years ago still looks brand new because the covers come off and can be laundered, which I recently did. My tables were thrifted from a local consignment shop and I painted them black um, to match my decor style. I have a 9 by 12 jute rug anchoring the room layered with a 8 by 10 vintage rug on top. The armchair and ottoman are my favorite seat in the house, is my favorite seat in the house, as you can see. And this is where I often read, scroll my phone and relax. We do share our home with two cats and a small dog, so you will see them throughout the video tour probably. The end table over here was part of my nursery furniture way back when, when I was a baby. We have since refinished it, and it is now our, essentially our junk drawer in here, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I love it. I chose a kind of gray wash stain for it, so some of the wood grain texture still comes through. On the back side of the living room, we have my egg chair, which is my son's favorite place to sit, and our fireplace. It is gas. I did get to choose the mantle and the surround when we were having the house built. The tile was already there, and I would like to one day replace it with 
white washed brick, distressed brick, but for now it's not hurting anything and it is the same tile that's in our um, wet areas of our house. We do have a TV hookup up here, um, but you may notice I don't have a TV. I, um, I like having no technology. To me, it creates a completely different vibe in here. It encourages conversation, reading, things like that. Helps me unwind not having Netflix blaring all the time. But if I wanted to put a TV up, there are connections behind the mirror if I changed my mind. And that is looking back to the front of the house. Back this way, we have our formal dining room. I have a custom built farmhouse table that I had built by a lady I found on Facebook Marketplace when we moved in. So I got to choose the dimensions for the area so it fits perfectly in the space. We don't use it very often for day-to-day -day meals, but it comes in handy if we're having company over, holidays, and that sort of thing. Plus, it's really fun to decorate. I have a lot of space to work with, and it's very durable. I just have a little decorative corner right here for some soft lighting, candles, that sort of thing. Just a nice little focal point in the dining room. Now, as you can see, it is fairly open. I do have um, extra tall doorways and um, archways here. I guess not really archways, but like columns that separate the room visually. We have really tall vaulted ceilings, which give a feeling of openness. Back this way is my kitchen. So the kitchen cabinets, I was able to choose from three different colors when the house was being built. The other two did not go with my style of decorating, so I opted for the espresso, which look almost black on camera. I recently changed up my hardware to this um, antique copper color, which I love. It really pops against the dark cabinets and it complements my fixtures at my sink, which are oil rub bronze and have a copper highlight to them. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a great match. Our house is a mixture of form and function. There are some things that I customized and are chosen pretty much just for their appearance, but then there are other things that were chosen for their form, such as my double sink here. As much as I would love to have a farmhouse sink, um, this was pretty much the only option I was given, but it honestly serves a purpose. Um, I use it every day, it's functional, so I think sometimes it's important to remember that your home is not a museum and you should choose things that help you and your family live your daily lives out in it. We added the subway tile after we moved in. And we have our range and microwave over here. Like I said, not a huge kitchen but it serves its purpose. We have a nice little snack bar right here. I did request the countertops um, have enough overhang to turn it into a little snack bar. So this is a great place for my son to sit here and eat, hang out, do homework. I have a little nook right here on the end. I can decorate, which I love. There's a view of my kitchen. Back here, we have our pantry, which is just a closet pantry with wire shelving. And our laundry room is the hallway that connects our garage to the rest of the house. Nothing spectacular yet. Um, I would like to make this back wall some sort of focal point, add some cabinets in the future. 
Right now it is very organized and very functional though, so I can't complain too much. That's where I keep my vacuum. And this is also where we feed our cats up here. So that's why she is jumping up here thinking she's gonna get food to keep the food off the floor so my dog doesn't get it. We have a storage closet for our laundry detergent and cleaning products. So if I were to have cabinets, I might keep those things in there. But for now, I have baskets up here that have my cleaning rags, um, extra towels, lunch boxes, that sort of thing. Pet supplies, things that we use on a fairly regular basis. Again, nothing Instagram worthy, but it's clean, organized, and functional, which, you know, has its place too. Here we have our garage door going out to our two car garage. And you can see it's just a little narrow walkway, a little bit bigger than a laundry closet, but not room for much else in there. There is a shot of main living areas. Back this way is our linen closet our guest bedrooms, which are turned into a playroom and a bedroom for my son. So I'll keep those doors closed because who knows what's behind those. And our guest bathroom. So as you can see, the same espresso cabinets, framed mirrors and cage lights that we chose. Pretty good size for a guest bathroom. It has a um, long vanity, which I love. And this really great hanging storage basket above our toilet is a place where we store our extra rolls of toilet paper, hand towels, that sort of thing. I didn't decorate it for a kid's taste necessarily um, because this is our only guest bathroom. I didn't want guests having to come into a Super Mario or Pokemon bathroom. And it's something that as my son grows, you know, he's not gonna care too much. I have some um, ideas for some ways I'd like to decorate my hallway. I'd like to make a gallery wall of family photos one day. Up there is my bonus room where my son is hanging out right now, so we won't go up there. And this is the view out into the main area of the house. So one last stop back on the other end of the house. Go back through the kitchen, dining room, entryway. And it is the master suite. So we have a, a small coat closet here and two doors. Now the door that's opened was supposed to be the um, office of the house and the door that shut was supposed to be the bedroom door. However, the builders had decided to open up the office and the master bedroom into one great big room. So they left both doors, whether that was a mistake or not, I'm not sure, but we just used this one. Over here, you can see this is where our bed goes, and that is that door that you saw. So it really doesn't um, serve a purpose. We keep it locked so it doesn't open up and hit the furniture. We have beautiful tray ceilings. All of our paint colors throughout the house are the same. It is Sherwin-Williams A New Gray. It can look beige or gray depending on the time of day and the lighting. But I love it because it is a true neutral. It can pull warm or cool tones. We have across from our bed, a very large triple window. So again, no TV, which is fine. I've actually never had a TV in my room in my entire life, so it does not bother me. We're not huge TV people. I have an armoire that I've had for a while that I repainted. 
with some keepsakes and things in there. I have a display shelf of some family photos, some um, little knickknacks that I like to decorate with around the holidays. Back off this way, we have the master bathroom. So both of our closets are in here. We have his and hers closets. This is my husband's and then over here is mine. So I'll show you mine. Inside, um, it's pretty spacious. I have um, this unit that I purchased from Walmart for my bulky items like jeans and sweats that I wanna fold. I have my purses sitting there, some baskets of accessories, and then these bins at the bottom for socks and things like that. I have enough room for to hang my dresses, my tops, and a place to store my boots. And my hat's hung on the wall. And a little stool where I can sit to get my socks and shoes on if I want. So that is my closet. Back out into our bathroom. It has really high vaulted ceilings, so you'll have to excuse, excuse the acoustics in here. It's really echoey. We have this gorgeous large picture window that we added these custom shutters to when we built the house. I love it because I can adjust the lighting in here. I can make it pretty dark or I can make it as bright as I want. I have some plants in here which love the humidity and the natural light they get from the south side of the home. A large soaking tub that I don't use often enough, but it's nice to have when you want to. We have his and hers sink, so this is my husband's side. And I know the cabinets look black, but just like in the kitchen, in the guest bathroom, they're actually espresso. And we have the same cage lights as in the guest bathroom. So then over here is my vanity. This has a area where you could turn it into a makeup vanity by putting a, um, a chair or a bar stool up underneath here. However, um, I don't like getting ready in the bathroom and I'll show you in just a minute where I get ready. So I just bought a storage unit for towels, um, face cloths, that sort of thing. And it's just nice to have the extra space here um, for when I'm getting ready, doing my hair. I do my makeup in my bedroom. We have a fabulous walk-in shower. I love my shower. It has a built-in bench. We've added some storage shelves in here for all of our products and I know it's hard to see because the light's reflecting on the glass, but there is a little shower nook here for some of my nicer looking products and then everything else is kept in the back on shelves. And all of our fixtures and all of our hardware are oil rub bronze. So I kept the copper theme going in here with this little copper tray, copper accident lamp, soap dispenser, and so forth. And eventually this room will get new hardware um, similar to what I have in the kitchen. So over here we have our toilet closet. Nothing really to see there, just a small little room for the toilet. As you can see, extremely tall ceilings in here as well, which is great for ventilation. And looking back out into the bedroom, and you can see back here is what I was talking about with the office, what was going to be an office. I call it my bedroom annex because it's literally just an extension of the main part of the bedroom. This is probably primarily my area of the bedroom. This dresser is from my nursery as a baby, just like the nightstand slash end table in my living room is part of that same suit. It's been refinished to match. I have my little clothing rack here where I can lay out my outfits for the week, shoes, 
purse, things like that. It makes getting ready in the mornings a lot faster. I have these baskets on the wall. Some of them are baskets that are meant for the wall and then some of them are placemats that I got at Target. But they all coordinate and go really great together. So have those. I have the bay window in the front of the house is right here. So I've wanted a bay window since I was a little girl and I love that I have one now. This is my little sitting area for when I need to get my shoes on, drink my coffee in the mornings, check the news, that sort of thing. So my window treatments throughout my house are all the same. I have custom ordered Bali natural blinds. So that means they are the bamboo shades um, that come that pull down. I opted not to get liners on them um, so that they could filter the natural light during the day without completely blocking it out. The only problem is at night when the lights are on in the house, but dark outside, you can see right through them. Kind of like you can see outside right now because it's brighter outside. So the way I remedy that for privacy is I just pull the curtain shut. The curtains are actually $5 bed sheets from Walmart when we were building the house and I was looking at window treatments because this house has so many windows and they're so tall it was gonna cost me a small fortune to dress them all so I found this hack online where you can buy twin size bed sheets which are approximately 95 to 96 inches long and hang them with upholstery clips from your rod and they're great because you can take them down and wash them, dry them, and because they're poly blend, they don't shrink up. They just kiss the floor, so they're the perfect length. And this curtain rod here is made specifically for bay windows. I just searched for them on Amazon and found one I liked. It does adjust for your dimensions. Here is where I get ready the most. So this is my makeup vanity. I do love makeup. It's a hobby of mine. So it was important to me to have a space to get ready and get my makeup on. And as you can see, this is why the vanity in my bathroom would not work because I needed a lot of storage surrounding um, for all my makeup. So this is actually a table from Target. It's from their threshold line. It's a desk from Target, I should say. And the mirror is a freestanding mirror from the Target uh, website. So I just created my own vanity that went with my uh, vibe and aesthetic in here. Kind of a little bit more boho in here, maybe boho farmhouse. You can see I have the boho print pillows and throws, a little mirror propped up in the corner. So this is definitely my zone of the house. And then you might have noticed my dog's crate right here. I do have, you might even be able to see them in there a senior Yorkie and he loves his crate as his little den so so long as we have him we will have his crate and um, there's just not much you can do with it other than I have a blanket kind of draped over it so he feels safe and secure um, it's not the best looking thing in the world but it's his comfort so that's what matters and I just have some simple botanical prints a few pieces on my dresser, my most used jewelry, that sort of thing. And as you can see in the mirror, I have this great chandelier. It was a birthday present for my husband one year. It is from Lowe's. It is the Kitchler brand. It is the, it's a farmhouse wood bead chandelier. They're real popular. I'm sure you've seen them. We have the LED vintage lights in it that are dimmable. Most all of our light bulbs that you can see are the vintage LED bulbs. I like the LED ones because they don't get as hot and I don't worry about that as much, but they still give that warm, soft light that I want it. So here's one last look around the bedroom. It is very large. Maybe a little unnecessary, but I do appreciate having the space. So going back out, that's basically it. 
I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my home. It is cozy. It is functional. I think it's beautiful. And that's what matters. You guys have a great day. And I'll see you next time. A big thank you to Brittany for sharing her stunning home today. I hope you all got so many new ideas for your home and I will see you guys later on the Vidic Country. Bye.